Hello staff. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a video response rating assignment. I have written a video prompt, and what I'm going to do now is go over to the side panel and click the Add Video button. Brings me into the Select Video, where I can either search for the video by name, or I can paste the URL, which I already copied, from YouTube. So there we go. There's the video URL. The video comes right in. I select it and it will add it right to your Google form. Now notice the uh, question is coming before the video. I can change where that is. I can make the video come first by grabbing hold of those little dots and dragging the question above the video. It's your preference, however you would like it to be. At this point, I'm going to give the video a title. Now we have our title, and what you'll notice, the video is very small. If you notice these three dots on the side, if I click on them, it gives me the option to align my video um, however I like. I'm going to put it in the center. And then if I click on the video itself, I can grab a hold of the corners and resize it however I like. You'll also notice there is a um, duplicate option. You can duplicate questions. And if I don't like anything about this, I can just delete it. And then again, these three little dots, if I click them, um, allow me to show a caption for the video. So let's go down and look at the question. So before I put the video in, I added this question and I chose paragraph as the question response option. What I can also do if I want to give them a little bit more direction, I can click these three little dots down here and say I want to add a description. So this allows me now to say, well, um, grading will be on the four point rubric scale or whatever you want to say to the students. At this point, you might also want to make this required. And since this cannot grade itself, you are going to have to review it when you review your responses, but you still can add the points and grade it through the form. It just won't be automatic. If you like, you can even add feedback or something you want the students to read um, when they do their submission. So that's all. If you have any questions, you can um, put them in the comment for on this page.